Hello everybody, welcome to the round of 32 tiebreaker match between Rock and Yatsik. Incredible series these two have had. Um, Orc mirrors, I mean, good for them. <laughs> it's, it's still, you know, it's, it's definitely better on a, on a replay, I can tell you, than watching this live. Um, Yatsik's won the toss and chose to receive again. So he's won the toss every single game, which is pretty good in a bash mirror. Um, you can see the... the they're the fourth game down here. Um, so the winner of this, wait, one, two, three, four, the fifth game. So they'll be playing, they'll be playing Spartacus the winner, which is gonna be a very tough match. Uh, he's got lizard men. So that's a tough racial matchup for the Orcs. If they win, well, I mean, one of them will win. Um, so Yatsik won the first game, Rock won the second game. Um, this game has overtime activated, so we could see three halves of thrilling orc on orc action. And um, yeah, I guess it's mostly going to be about who bangs the other one out. But there's, you know, there was a lot of positioning. I think this time, last game, Rock was more aggressive because he had to win. I think this time, he maybe be a bit more, uh, a bit more passive, and just try to, you know, well, who knows? We'll see what happens. Rock won his group anyway. Um, Yatsik was second in his group. And I can tell you that Rock is Spanish, Jacek is Polish, and they both qualified from the Season 4 official playoffs um, slash ladder. So let's go. It's a long introduction, isn't it? But it sets the scene. It sets, you've got to set the scene. You've got to know the stakes. You've got to know the stakes and uh, all the rest of it. So we'll, we'll, we'll ignore the ball carrier and just zoom in on the fight. <laughs> Who cares about the ball anyway, right? Nope, well, he's got it. And he's in the a fight. Patrol. So yeah, so now he's, he's not basing. I mean, maybe, maybe he'll go for a base up at some point, right? But just try and get the dodges out and just stay in front. And maybe Yatsik's learned from the last game and he's trying to grab some space early. Has to get that penetration at some point. So I wouldn't have minded blitzing this Garda, but this is fine, isn't it? He's got the strong line here. But the problem is, he's potentially blocking, blocking, and blitzing, and, you know, getting collapsed a little bit. In fact, we're going for the troll. I've noticed Rock being a bit of a troll hunter. Um, like, it does feel like an impactful removal. And he is defenseless, isn't he? So, but I mean, he also has regen and doesn't have guards. So while he's strong, he's in many ways a big and is is more important to the drive. But doesn't go for the one D at the end. Probably should have done right. Like it doesn't feel good going for that. But on the other hand, you're just going to get two D back.
Oh, one you both down. One in nine. Oh, you got a kick reroll of kickoff, so that's fine. Right, here's the 2D that could have been a 1D for the, <laughs> for the lineman. Gets the pow. Doesn't kill him. Oh. If that had been a death, that would have been uh, pretty, pretty special. This is a bit of a bad trade for Yatsik, right? Guard, strength 4. So um, Rock can try to use that to his advantage. Oh, I didn't really talk about the team, did I? Because we'd just done the other one. This is the problem with like doing two games back to back in like a series, because you do, don't do the really the full intros. Um, very similar teams, they've both got a leader, a tackler, they've both got exactly the same players um, in terms of like, you know, a troll, a thrower, four of each strong boys, 12 players total. Um, they've both got two rerolls plus leader, they've both got an apple. Rock's banging some people down here and dodging. <laughs> I actually quite like that trade as well, and he's abandoned it. That's interesting, isn't it? To have more stuff to react. I would have actually quite just, I just left him getting punched, I think. Um, and, but the key difference is Yatsik has four guard, and Rock has a mighty blow. Oh, there was a there was a KO and he didn't have it. Yeah, interesting. Well, that now 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 this is overtime, right? So now you've got to imagine that one side's going to get a Kaz. So you're um, like one side, either side. Like you've got you've got to imagine there's a good chance of taking a Kaz at some point. Let's turn four and maybe he thinks the drive's going okay and he doesn't need it. Oh. Honestly, I'm really on the fence about trolls. It feels like you need it against lizards. But then, even in the bash matchups, like, you know, the troll going stupid can lose you the, uh, I mean, look at, look at, uh, my game versus Toomish, right? His, his troll went stupid like six turns in a row or something. And yes, it was ludicrously unlucky, but it can happen. And that can't happen with, like, a lineman. It just literally can't. So the thing is, I think if you're worried enough about the Lizard Man matchup to take a troll on your orc team, you just shouldn't be playing orcs, right? That's the way I look at it now. So yeah, I, I think I wouldn't take the troll ever again. Oh, he's run away from the stupid troll. That was a mistake, wasn't it? That was that was an absolute mistake. He could have at least recovered the troll, moved with it. He could have done anything with the troll, and he just moved away from it. Wait, now it doesn't look stupid. I thought that was stupid. Oh, was this the stupid one? Oh no, he's gone next to it. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I took a troll. I took a troll and I did made the team as well. But oh, look, troll's brilliant, mighty blow, and it gets you a mighty blow. And uh, the good thing is, it gets you the mighty blow, which can, means you can take more guard, right? Like that's 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 the thing I like about it. It's it's not an easy call, but you know, I'm not saying it's definitely wrong. I'm not saying it's definitely wrong to take the uh, take the troll, but the reason that I decided to take it was because I was scared of lizards, and then there were no lizards. This was in Super League. Um, rock crashing in. Got to re-roll this, right? Oh my god, two re-rolls down to base the ball. But I like it. I could get the stop. Right, 
could get the stop, couldn't it? I mean, maybe have the stop anyway. Maybe he should have uh, based up here, right? Rather than screening, maybe he should have based up there. But, like, this is still hard for Yatsik to do much. Didn't follow with that blitzer though. So has to dodge with this one. I imagine there were like time bank, uh, turn timer and nerve issues involved in these games. I know they sure were in mine. That's the thing with the replays, we just can't see what's going on in terms of that. Don't really like Mr. Throw as like the safety or whatever. Because he's not fast and he doesn't have block. But tagging the ball again, love it. So he can free this blitzer here. The blitzer can't score, but it can be like sideline caged. Oh god. Can <laughs> Just the sideline potatoed. <laughs> Hand off two and then troll to secure the other side. And there's another blitzer as well. Okay, you can kind of make a three point cage. Has to dodge. Oh no, so he's caging Mr. Throw and having him as well. Okay, yeah, that's pretty strong, isn't it, actually? Yeah, okay. Oh my god, all the dice rolls here. Dodges, rushes. Puts in a re-roll there, so only one re-roll for the last turn. Okay, rolled a million dice there, yeah, to, and now this looks amazing. It looked really bad. It looked really bad from at one point. But now it looks completely amazing. Can Rock do enough? If you smell what he's cooking. No. <laughs> no, is the, is the simple answer. <laughs> Instantly, no. Now he gets to nail the thrower as well, which is lovely, isn't it? AV9+. plus Dub skulls! One, two, three, four, five. It's a rush as well. Oh my goodness. It's a rush for Mr. Throw. He does KO his Mr. Throw, but... Does the surf as well, without reroll. Gets him. Kazes him. Apple, badly hurt. Yep. Makes the rush. Flip me. What a drive. That looked so strong for, for Rock at one point and then it was just dissolved. <laughs> Hello, are we yet? It's not a clear run to the final at all. No, no, it's absolutely not a clear run to the final. It's very far from a clear run to the final. Very, very, very far. So just bang things here, right? There's no, there's no gobble. Didn't make the. Uh, Throw a KO. Now he does make the throw a KO. So now it's still 11 versus 11. Um, and Rock 
is down on quality, but it is the gar the guardless biggin. So if you're going to lose one biggin, this is the one to lose. To be fair, this is only down a little bit of quality because he had to kick. <laughs> Again, goes to the mighty blow on the troll. Removes him. Apples. Lovely apple. Turn 9 apple. Yeah, so that, that's a great time to apple a KO, isn't it? Keep him on the pitch on turn turn 1 of the drive. Eats the 1 in 9 there, because he still had kind of a um, thing. Blitz on the eyes. Caught it. I guess he did, yeah. I guess he just caught it rather than touch back, yeah. Uh, I'll be honest, I don't always... Things happen really fast on the replays, and I don't always catch things. <laughs> but I guess he caught it rather than a misclicked touchback. Was it a touchback? Oh, so it was a misclicked touchback? Because surely if you touch it back, you put it on the throw, right? Maybe not. I mean, he is faster. It was a misclick. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Rock. Yeah, I've done that before. It's not what I would do, <laughs> but I have done it before. <laughs> like that, that's the problem with saying it's not what I would do, because obviously, you know, it's not what I would plan on doing, but, you know, you always do misclick, don't you? Like, that's a, it's a thing that happens. Dimmy with his, his uh, zombie ball carrier, you know. It's going to happen sometimes. And yes, it wouldn't happen um, on tabletop, but this isn't tabletop, it's Blood Bowl 3. Clicking the right things is part of the game. I quite like the strong early push here. Problem is, this is like very collapsible, and in fact, everything's collapsible. So while I like an early push, I don't like absolutely everything being based on knockdownable. This seems a very desperate push that's going to be very painful. But I guess it could work. But this is just so many blocks to give up. Yeah, he's faster and he's got block. Like, he's actually quite a good ball carrier. Oh, yes, he is a better ball carrier than Mr. Throw. At the end of the day, you carry on Mr. Throw because he gets, he's gets he got sure hands and he can actually pick it up. That was a lovely blitz and chain, wasn't it? Great little move by Yatsuk. Gets the power and the follow. And now, all of a sudden, this is a disaster. An instant disaster for Rock. I mean, look how bad this is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven players down. Jesus. It looks like it's not going to get to overtime. Double, double assist. Another removal? <laughs> no. I mean, he can stay where he is, right? He can stay where he is. Well, no, not anymore. Wait, was that a 4 plus stand-up? That was a 4 plus stand-up, wasn't it? Yeah, that was a 4 plus stand-up. And without that stand-up, we've got like an instant two dice on the ball, more or less. A pretty instant two dice on the ball. So that was, that probably should have been rolled, like either, it probably should have been a four plus or the uh, thrower should have like moved afterwards or whatever. But this was, this was a bit dodgy, but got away with it. I mean, it's a horrible position, right? Seven players knocked over. And now probably another seven knocked over again. Maybe not, actually. This is a little bit tricky to do things. 
Oh, is this a chain? So we can hit Mr. Throw. I think it's better to try to hit the uh, guard though, right? I think this this lineman could have like rushed and then power him. That looks really strong. But I get that he wanted to punch Mr. Throw. More chance of removal. Problem is now now Rock can uh, blitz with a blitzer and push down the flank because he, like he's going to take the early score, right? Like as as Yatsek here, you have to realise that Rock is taking the early score, and so you, I think you want to protect against it. Oh, phew, what a massive raid! Thank you very much, Andy Davo. Uh, I saw that you were playing your game. No, no spoilers, please. Um, <laughs> Because, you know, I'll be doing those as replays or probably, I don't know, might do one or two of them live. Um, we'll see tomorrow. Um, this is a replay, that's why they're playing fast, of a crucial round three tiebreaker between two Orc teams. Um, and it's every bit as thrilling as you'd think <laughs> from an Orc mirror. And oh, wow, he went for the... So this is the thing, right? I, did, I was just saying that you know, Rock would go for the early score here, the quick score. And he's he's gone so quick that he's going to do a handoff into Potato. And uh, he can only be touched by the Blitzer. And yeah, he's score early. I think this is the right thing to do. Part 2 is in 12 and a half hours. Glorious. I might, I might not wake up in time to... to <laughs> for that, so I might have to be, I might have to be doing uh, them as replays. We'll see. I want to do as many like game two or threes live as I can, you know. Um, but the thing is, with Andy's games, I imagine people who really want to see it live will watch on Andy's channel. So I don't know what I don't know what the plan is for tomorrow for streaming is honestly right now. I'll have to work it out. Gets the rush in. And yeah, I think scoring early was the correct play there. It actually does give Rock an outside chance of uh, of winning in normal time. But it's a very outside chance, isn't it? He's down to 10 players. This is uh now nah, I couldn't surf, he could he could only touch it, cobblestone. He could only touch it. Wait. Oh did he free it with blitz? Okay, right, I'm Okay, in an effort to to be good. <laughs> oh this blitzer was freed. So he did have the surf. Oh wow. So it was a, it was four rushes for a 2D on the ball to surf and win the game. Yeah, unlucky, unlucky Yatsik. But he still got a re-roll and uh, two re-rolls. He's got two re-rolls and he's got the ball. He might just score in. Oh, he got, got a who got the stiletto? Mr. Throw! <laughs> Mr. Throw can stab somebody. He's got four turns of two rerolls versus ten players. So he's got a chance of doing this. And also he's got a chance in overtime, right? If if because this game will go to overtime if it's tied. So he's got a chance in overtime if uh, and he's he's got a he's got a man advantage. Which will likely lead to more blocks. Like a further blocking advantage and further man advantage. That's generally how things go, right? Oh, he did follow to get away from the troll, though. And then activated him without a friend. Rolled a one anyway, no problem. Mr. Stab. So yeah, makes a little bit of an inroad there. I like having the Blitzer here as well, so the Blitzer can, you know, like, maybe he's take a hand off and go the other way. It's 
the pal. So yeah, tough. I mean, this is this is pretty. It's pretty tough because this is okay. I disagree hard with this. I would have pushed down this side hard. I would have pushed hard down this flank. It's hard because Jacek wants to keep him honest, right? He wants to keep something over here, but has to push really hard over there, I thought. But that's not what he's doing. He's trying to turn the corner. It's uh, it's not going to be easy, though. Because like, the problem is like the cutback only works once, right? He can't, he can't wood elf this, go side to side and... Or lizard man, it. He's really only got like one cutback, so I'd have pushed really hard and tried to keep this guy as some kind of outlet. <laughs> Mr. Throw, <laughs> running, running his five squares back. Yeah, it does seem like it's going to be. Good. I mean, this is all right. They're faster than they used to be. They are faster than they used to be. Movement five biggins is really good. But, you know, they're still slow overall, right? Very conservative, isn't he, Rock? He's getting some good screens in. I mean, maybe he's an expert of the Orc mirror. Maybe maybe Yatsik is as well, right? They've both, uh, they both qualified through the ladder playoffs, so I imagine they're both Orc... Uh, I imagine they're both orc mains to an extent, right? Because ninety-nine percent of people on ladder are orcs. It feels like. <laughs> so. so maybe this deep thing works. I mean, the deeper you are, like the the less bad your speed is, right? Is the good thing. Um, he could have. You know what? He could have scored. That's a, that's a good shout. Was he in range? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, do you know what? There was a world in which he scored this turn. Yeah. Honestly, I I wouldn't have hated it at all. Yeah, put this guy on there. And you've got two re-rolls for a 3-2-2. Two, two. And if you score it, you win. Yeah. I think you are correct, Moobs. <laughs> yep, yeah, I think that was the play. Can't really afford the troll activation there in case of a stupid. Because surely now, I thought I would have thought this one would have got blitzed, and then like base scoring threats and the ball. I I'd have blitzed this one, and like driven a whole wedge in. Right. It's given two hits on him, I guess. But yeah, now now there's like a full wall in front of those two. So they've still got the same eight, they still got the same eight squares to go, but there's a wall of plays in front of them. So yeah, no, that the handoff was a good, very good call last turn. Um, but again, we don't know what their time bank and stress levels were <laughs> because it's hard as uh, as Andy may attest to as well. It's so hard these games. Oh, he failed the animosity! Did he? Oh, he didn't re-roll it, though. He failed the animosity, he didn't re-roll. Because that score was so hard. OT is an entire half. It used to be first touchdown wins, now it's an entire half, guaranteed. Okay. Does Jacek win the coin toss again? Yes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> They've had four to coin tosses and he's won every single one. Well... You've got to feel bad if you if you rock here. He's been completely diced out of one game. He did have the better overall dice in the second one. This, this one's felt a bit rough. Not horrific, but enough 
that I'd feel hard done by if it happened to me. Maybe not a dicing, but uh, you know, again, it depends on your definition of dicing. I mean, yeah, that feels bad in the bash mirror to lose every single coin toss, including the the overtime one. Because with ten players, maybe he gets it done right. With ten players, maybe he gets his offensive drive done. Much harder to get his defensive drive done with no rerolls and ten players. And starting without the uh, momentum. Yeah, there you go, Miko. Yeah, I mean, but that—that that, like, it's—it's it's personal, right? Like, it's personal. It's just, do you know what I mean? It really is personal. There's no definition of it. So, one person could think one in ten games are dicing, and somebody else would only judge one in a hundred are dicing. You can't really call either of them wrong. It's a bit weak down the side, but again, you don't you don't want to take the side early, so it doesn't really matter. It's a bit weak down the side. Just uh, keep banging and hope something happens. Especially now with with Rock having no rerolls, right? Um, Yatsa can just kind of like wait until something goes wrong for Rock. He's got lots of time. Just play safe, punch things and wait and eventually you'd expect Rock with 1 in 9 with a blockless player or Dub Skull with a block player and then his position will be somewhat collapsed really good turn, got all the pals, lovely shape No one's really played bad, I don't think, in any of these games. Like that's the funny thing, right? Like it's Yatsik was pretty strong uh, second place finisher. I thought wouldn't be surprised whoever wins this. There's certainly not a gulf in teams or coaching. There's been a bit of a one in dice. <laughs> Yeah, but, that, but that's the thing, all right, Emily Riposte. If their definition is like, you know, 48%. Like, I mean, you, you each person will have their own definition of like a certain percentile, right? And that like, they can still be biased in their assessment of that and whatever. But everyone will have their own definition of what a dicing is. So if you have a lower threshold then you will think loads of games are dicing but if you have a higher one you won't but it doesn't really mean anything apart from what their uh, what their personal thing is pick the ball on a three plus for three turns yeah so that's that's like maybe it's one in five right ib you probably think one in five maybe i'm just pulling that number out of my ass but <laughs> you might think 1 in 5 is a dicing. Somebody else might think 1 in 10 is. Someone else might only call it a dicing if it's a 1 in 100 battle of game. It's just a weird thing, isn't it? We'll, we'll never all agree on what constitutes a dicing. But this has certainly been... You know, oh, there we go. There's the 1 in 9. The blockless 1 in 9 happens. He did do his safe moves first, but this is still quite good for Yatsik, right? And so this this was this was the player for Yatsik was just hope for a fail, and then use the fail to then move forward that turn. But again, even Moose, it depends on what your definition of a dicing is, right? So I think everybody will be biased towards themselves. 
<laughs> but then there is also the individual's definition. Puts in the reroll for the blockless hit. Oh, and it chains him out to activate his troll. That's pretty nice. But then dodges. What? Was that a misclick? Or was that time? Maybe it was Maybe it's just running out of time, right? Because that's a really lovely chain. Right? The chain's great. Because now you can now you can block with a troll. And then chain that guy out so you don't have to dodge. But then he just dodged. So maybe at this point, like, they've got no time bank left, right? Or stress levels, etc., etc. I mean, an abnormal amount is for every game. It's an abnormal amount, <laughs> one way or the other. <laughs> the chance of you getting a, a fair game of Blood Bowl is really small, right? Somebody's going to have better dice than the other. Well, that fail. That was for a 1D Blitz, right? That was a 1D Blitz. Because he thinks he's not going to stop him getting forward, and I guess probably wasn't. So that was a bit unlucky. Yeah, yeah. I mean, everyone's good. That's what I mean. Everyone's going to be like Dyson, right? Everyone's got everyone's got the cognitive bias. But even putting that aside, what I'm trying to get at is there's still your just personal definition, which is not necessarily the same as someone else, and definitely not universal. But yeah, every everyone's got cognitive bias for sure. <laughs> yeah, no, I can't remember what, they, what it's called. Is it, it's it's got a name, that hasn't it? I mean, there's lots of like cognitive biases, isn't there? That, that one's got a name, but yeah, yeah, like the, the chance of one game to be even is like is ridiculously low, ridiculously low that that a game is going to be even. You know, there's a hundred results, and you, you're asking it for be fifty-fifty. That's like one in a hundred. <laughs> it's just, do you know what I mean? Whatever. So like, it's crazy. Okay, twenty-two. And he's, turn twenty-two. And he's blitzing backwards. I'm not such a fan of this, but like, it's not terrible or anything. It's just. I don't like the ball being on the, the sideline here. Like, he must have had a plan when he did that. So he probably wants to start doing it. Is he going to move? I think he's going to move the cage. This is spicy. Is this the troll? This troll, this troll is, uh, is Rock's troll. One, two, three, four, rush, rush. Let's go! <laughs> um, I mean, come on, you've got to. The problem is it's not easy to activate him, is it? If you can activate him... Three twos to two D the ball is pretty good, but it's not easy to get him. I mean, yeah, I was thinking you could just uphill this guy, but then he's tagged as well. These guys are so far back. I just feel like they can't do anything. Like good over here. Like maybe there's a chain. There doesn't seem a chain anywhere. So hard to see who was which players which. <laughs> um, right. Okay, here we go. We can see which players are rocks now. Um, this doesn't look good, does it? This guy's moved already. Yeah, if he, if he hadn't moved, 
he would have been a dot, but he would have just done it himself, right? One, two, three, four, five. It's rough. It's rough. He's got like uphill, then four plus dodge. But then if you're going to do that, you just act, do the four plus activation. So he could just four plus activate, blitz, and then stand in front with everything else. Right. I think the play is probably base with everything else and then just go for the 4 plus troll. Oh, he did it. He did it as well. I like it. It's a tough call to make that as well, right? In the in the heat of the moment. With all, the entire game on the line. That's a that's a ballsy call to make. <laughs> the 4 plus troll blitz, but I I think it was definitely the right play. 4-2-2. 2 2D. Yeah, I hate trolls, man. I really do hate trolls. No offence to Dimmy G, of course. Not all trolls. <laughs> like, I don't think they're definitely bad, right? But it just seems like it's just... Another point of failure, like if you need if you need the strength of the troll, you probably shouldn't be playing orcs, you should probably be playing lizard men, right? That, that's basically what I'm thinking. Scores on turn twenty-three. Learned his lesson from the from the second half, right? He had that two three two two to score, didn't go for it. This time made the touchdown when he had the chance. Got it done and uh Unless Rock scores a two turn with nine players. This is curtains. Quick snap helps. Really deep kick. Oh god. Let's go for the pickup first, why not? Glorious. No, I won't Thank give you very in much, Cosmico. until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. What an Glorious. Leg no, I won't give in until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Blitzes through. Probably wants a lineman as like the relay. Glorious. No, I won't give in. Yeah, it's been incredible. It's actually been incredible. And I will defend. Thank I you, will uh, defend. Thank you very much, everybody. <laughs> Glorious. No, I won't give in. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Glorious. No, I won't give in <laughs> until I'm flipping I flipping here, Bill. And I will defend. <laughs> there's will so defend. much. There's so much lore in the uh, in all of the in all of the animations and voice things that are lost in time from uh, from ages ago. But um, thank you very much for all the gift subs, Cosmigo. Welcome to Team Fantastic, Rick Reckless, Surveillance, Hellstrong. Oh, it's not 2022, it's two, 222. And Nesba and No Logo on the phone. Thank you very much. <laughs> Absolute mad. <laughs> yep. It has been, it has been a pretty mad job. So thank you very much. And there you go. Congratulations, Yatsik. He does get the win over rock and um yep oh my god i am here yeah that's pretty good isn't it that is a pretty good that is a pretty good one um anyway yeah because it's it's the, the, i've still got the anyway look let's fo focus on the end of the match thank you very much and uh yeah congratulations yatsik um commiserations rock losing 
four coin tosses in three games is pretty brutal. Uh, definitely, like, got ridiculously diced out the first game. Uh, but, you know, that's that's the nature of Blood Bowl, isn't it, at the end of the day? Um, bash is going to bash. And now Yatsik's reward for that is he's got to somehow get past Spartacus with Lizardmen. That is going to be a very tough matchup for him in the second round. Um, but that's another group winner lost, right? We've had a... Is it the third? Fourth group winner? Yeah. We had Nuru losing to Spartacus, funnily enough, and Rock losing to Yatsik. So that was two runners-up going through there. We had Nabolo losing to Diamed, and uh, Sergal lose. Uh, sorry, Kfog losing to Sergal. Unbelievable. And Gorgo Bay lost to the most fantastic man on the planet. <laughs> right. Um, thank you for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.